One crop farming is over. Agroforestry is a real, actionable way to regenerate soil, clean our water, capture our carbon, produce a healthy abundance of nutritious foods, natural medicines, sturdy building materials, and preserve heirloom seeds to bring valuable products directly to the market. It's where working with nature, traditional knowledge, and human innovation come together. Agroforestry works. So come on, let's go. Okay guys, so what we're doing today is, I've explained this in other videos, the preparation, but today we're actually doing it. We are harvesting yucca, and yucca is a huge tuber, cassava is a huge tuber. You'll see it here as Yandre grabs it out of the ground. And uh, you can see these great big, huge, enormous, beautiful tubers. What they do is they leave a big open space in the soil. Now remember, this was a cow pasture, and it was a, the soil was very compacted and uh, a lot of clay you can see there's a lot of clay here in the soil that's tight yeah but leaving the yucca in the ground and then harvesting it what that does is it opens up this beautiful space and you can see down here in this space there's a lot of little insects and buggers that weren't here before because tight compacted soil when it doesn't have any space it can't have anything living in it because living things need air okay Remember that one, you know, soil microbiologists, when they start talking about like anaerobic conditions and using big words, just remember no air, no life. And when there's no life, the plants cannot access the nutrients in the soil because there's no microbes and insects in there to shuttle the nutrients to them. So just remember that, okay? Always a good idea to open up your soil if it's tight and compacted with a big tube or plant or with the roots of another plant before you plant your target species which for us, our target species here are these baby aroma nacional cacao. So that's what's going to go in the ground next. Okay, and then when you're done planting your little cacaos in the spaces that the yucca made in the nice loose soil, don't forget to mulch afterwards. Okay, always cover that soil with some banana leaves or some uh, other material, organic matter, because especially in the dry season when it's dry, you don't want that soil losing moisture. So always mulch after you plant. Always, always, always mulch after you plant. Okay, remember, bare soil is bad soil. <laughs> <laughs> they, 